With compositing workflows, you may have a scenario where you need to move a layer around, but you want its mask to stay in place. In this document, I've just made a selection of the sky area, and I'm going to show this replacement sky layer, then add a mask to it. I'll then deselect with Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. I need to scale the sky up. To do this, I'll select the sky layer, switch to the Move tool with V, and begin dragging on the corner handle here. The issue is that I am also scaling the mask, which is child layered inside the sky layer. Rather than having to detach or unlink the mask, I can use an option to lock it in place. I'll undo the transform. Then with the Move tool selected, I'll see this option called Lock Children on the Context toolbar. I'll enable this, then scale the sky up again. The mask now remains in place, leaving me free to transform the sky however I wish. This Lock Children option can also be toggled dynamically. I'll disable it, then start scaling the layer again. If I hold the space bar after beginning to transform the layer, it temporarily enables Lock Children. If Lock Children is enabled up here, holding the space bar will do the inverse, allowing me to temporarily move the mask with the parent layer as well. You may have a scenario where you have multiple layers grouped together and a mask is applied to the group. Unfortunately, in this case, Lock Children is not available. To temporarily detach the mask, I can right-click its text and choose Release. It now shifts to above the group as a parent layer. I can then select the group and transform it. Once I'm happy, I can right-click the mask text again and choose Mask to Below. And there we go, a quick video on how to use the Lock Children feature and how to release and reattach masks applied to groups. Thank you for watching.